When talking about spelling, people many times say that spelling should reflect the way people speak. And they call this phonetic spelling. Now, let's leave aside the argument that spelling should reflect the way people speak, which is a very interesting argument. Now let's talk about the word phonetic. Strictly speaking, spelling, no spelling system uh, that I know of is truly phonetic. Uh, it is, however, phonemic. Um, it's an important, it's an interesting distinction for those who are interested in this kind of thing. Phonetics refers to sounds, quite literally sounds produced by human speech. Phone um, phonology refers to the significant, uh, the significant, excuse me, a bit of Spanglish there, the significant differences between the sounds. For example, let me give you an example of a phoneme and uh, and a sound. In uh, English, there we can find the phoneme, the significant sound unit, t. Let's um, call it the t phoneme, because it's usually spelled with the letter t. Now, if this phoneme is found at the beginning of a word, or at the beginning of a stressed syllable in a word, you will say, for example, time and attack. This is a very strong sound. It's an aspirated sound, but it's the same T phoneme. If it comes at the end of a word, it will be a weaker, less aspirated sound. Like if you say get, it's not the same as time, get, or it will even be pronounced get with a glottal stop. So the sound is different, but the phoneme is the same because people still understand when they hear the glottal stop, they map it or they translate it to the T phoneme. So we are talking about significant differences, not about differences, uh, not about just sound differences, but sound differences which are important to the understanding and mutual understanding of people who are speaking a language. So if, for example, if English spelling was phonetic, then we would have to spell an initial T or uh, a, a, a T that started a stressed syllable differently than the way we would spell a, a syllable final T or a glottalized T or a flap T like in the word butter, etc, etc. This is really not necessary because it reflects differences that are, which are not important for understanding. So, if you want to make the, the, the argument that spelling should reflect the way people speak, really what you are saying in a way is that spelling should reflect the way that people perceive, should reflect the way that people perceive the way they speak, meaning that spelling should reflect the phonemes of a language, not necessarily just strictly speaking, the sounds. So we can talk about phonemic spelling instead of phonetic spelling. A, a system which can spell things phonetically is the International Phonetic Alphabet, for example. But a phonemic spelling is good enough for most languages. Now, whether English spelling is phonemic is another question entirely. I think it's morphophonemic and also quite irregular. Um, I'll go into what morphophonemic spelling means in another video. Um, I think I've talked enough about spelling for now. I'm gonna go home and get something to eat. Catch you guys later.